What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and welcome back to another One Take Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this figure I just got, which is the 2018 Paleoluxodon from Eofauna. Oh boy, have I wanted to get this one for a long time. My friends kept telling me just how amazing this figure was, kept telling me I needed to get it in person. I knew, oops, I knew I was going to do it, um, but uh, I just didn't end up like pulling the trigger very quickly and so I finally f have gotten my hands on it I was uh, also got the Atlasaurus which will be um, in the next review um, they're both inside my collection video as well I already have the review out for the Eofauna Giga so if you want to check that out go up in the top right corner up there that's an old paleo review so the style is a little dated but it's still a, a quality review as to how I feel about that figure um, now this one, oh my god, um, now I, I guess you can already see one of my few issues with this guy is that um, it does kind of tip over relatively easily if you do push it. Like you can see it actually is stable, but you can knock it over because it is fair, fairly narrowly footed. Um, I was going to talk about that later, but since he fell over so early, I guess it's um, a fair time to talk about it. But then again, you can see no damage at all. It's a very durable figure. Now this here, just ignore that, that's not really damage, it's just like a little tuft of like fiber that got stuck to it in packaging. I don't know exactly what, but I, I'm gonna try to continuously get that off. So just ignore that. That's probably not gonna be on yours. Now I know these are supposed to be one take reviews, but I did forget something. So I have to had, had to make a little quick cut, but this is the card that comes with this figure. Uh, the Eofauna Straight Tusk Elephant. It comes with a bunch of information on here, as you can see, if you wanna read that. They also have uh, the collecting shuriken rating. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'll just put that over there for right now. Um, Eofauna figures typically go for around $40, um, and it's pretty consistent price for all of them. Uh, and they are definitely expensive figures um, compared to most of the other figures um, from like smaller companies and stuff that we uh, typically purchase from. However, you are getting unbearably amazing quality out of these figurines. Um, their first ever figure, the Step Mammoth, is still amazing to this day, and I still might end up getting it. Um, the uh, Giga is the most scientifically accurate Gignotosaurus figure on the market. It's an amazing figure, besides its standing issues. Um, the Allosaurus and this one are amazing. Even the Dinotherium is awesome. So they have five figures out so far, but each of them are incredible. And this one is easily one that takes the cake, and was one it was the considered the best one uh, unanimously by myself and my friends um, for a long time. Um, now I do feel like the Atlasaurus is actually a little bit better, so that's if that gives you a little perspective of what's coming in the next review, there you go. But this figure is incredible. I have never really been a massive fan of Cenozoic stuff. Now I am a pretty big fan of Cenozoic stuff, and I've gotten more into Cenozoic stuff, and I'm trying to collect more. Um, and so I have been into this figure for a while. I'm not a huge uh, Probosidian fan, which is the uh, family of elephants, uh, so this one was never particularly... Uh, super attractive to me um, at first, but then after my friends pointed it out to me and they were telling me how amazing it was, it definitely caught my eye, even when I still wasn't that big of a fan of uh, Cenozoic stuff. Um, but, oh my god, guys, I cannot recommend this enough. Uh, the, the pose is incredibly lifelike and fluid from every single angle. Um, the paint work is incredible. As you can see here, it really looks like a elephant's skin. Um, you can see it even has some genitalia down there for detail. Uh, there's a tail here, and it's got some pretty good fur detail there. Um, that's probably the weakest detail in the whole thing, just because it is kind of like a little chunk there, but that, you know, it is a 140 scale figure. It is actually very big. We'll do a size comparison here uh, in a little bit. Um, but then it's also got this really nice uh, uh, peachy, beige-ish color uh, across the front of the face and on the ears there that really uh, make the skin flush with, uh, with color there. Um, really beautiful orange eyes. Uh, it's just a fantastically posed figure, and I really like how naturalistic it comes across. And unfortunately, because of its feet being so naturally posed uh, together at a very tight angle, that is why it fell over earlier. But as you can see, I can kind of wiggle it, um, and it won't go anywhere. So, um, there you go. Uh, the weaker side is the uh, the side with the foot up. Um, that's the side that will fall over more easily. Um, but yet again. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Look, there's literally no damage to this guy whatsoever um, from falling over. I'm not encouraging you guys to beat the hell out of your figure, but um, it is definitely a durable figure, so that's another really great point in its favor. 
accuracy wise it's incredible it is flawless there is nothing wrong with this thing in terms of accuracy uh, uh eofauna is incredible they i believe they digitally sculpt oh yeah they, they definitely digitally sculpt their models but they they reconstruct um uh, the skeleton of the animal, then they put the muscles and the flesh all over it, and then the skin over that, and then they, they uh, texture and uh, uh, color the integument. And it is just, they are a master class. They are the experts of the scientific paleontological accuracy models in the community. If you're trying to get something that is 100% accurate, you're basically going to get that with every single Eofauna figure. They are incredible, and what a master class to own. Um, I just really cannot uh, exclaim how much you need this alone. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just so happy I have it. I don't really w need the Safari Mastodon anymore. I wanted to have a big um, uh, Probosidian for my Cenozoic collection because I do have a small section designated for Cenozoic stuff. So I wanted one really good um, uh, Probosidian or elephant uh, in that slot. And if you guys are still looking for something like that, this is the definitive choice. There is nothing that beats this one. Unless, I mean, of course, you're just a bigger fan of some other Probosidian. You also have the great choice of the Dinotherium Step Mammoth. There's also the great Safari Mastodon and the Carnegie Collection Mammoth, uh, which are all really great. But this one is by far the best out of the bunch. It is an incredible figure. Um, it its pose is just stunning, beautiful from every angle. There's not a single sore angle. The motion, everything is absolutely flawless with this thing. Um, and yeah, I, I really, I don't know what else I could say besides it is basically perfect. Um, it is absolutely incredible, and there's even so much detail here on the tusks. You can see all these grooves and stuff in the tusks I actually didn't know was there, uh, and I don't think many people point that, that, that out in their reviews, so that's something for you. The tusks are separate pieces, and while they do feel sturdy and they are a little bit bendy, I wouldn't mess with them too much and be too violent with, with them because I'd imagine they can break out if you're uh, too rude with them. Um, but, oh, geez, this is an absolutely stunning piece. Um, I just cannot wait to actually take this guy outside and take some pictures for him for the thumbnail. Um, this thing is such a photogenic uh, piece and so many of my friends have t captured amazing uh, photographs of this thing. Um, wow, I just, yeah, this thing's incredible. So, yep, I'm going to give you one last look at the card before we move into some size comparisons real quick. So here's the Eofauna Straight Test Mammoth. All of the cards always have uh, the figure in the exact same, or the 3D model that is rendered on their pictures in the exact same pose as the figure, which I just think is awesome and just beautiful. Uh, the, the design in terms of color may vary a little bit with some of them, like on the, the Giga, it slightly varies from what you actually have on the figurine. Um, but these uh, little silhouettes can vary a little bit, but then you have these cool stats and stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously your, uh, your little rating system across the top, which is kind of what I assume since uh, none of this is really ever explained anywhere. I've looked all over their website and on their social media, and they never really explain what the purpose of these are. It doesn't seem like there's a game for it. It's literally just a collector's card. So I'm assuming this is just fun little stats. You can compare all of your uh, animals uh, to each other. And then this thing is probably just a a collector's rating score. So basically, if you and your friends are collecting Eofauna figures, the person who has the most consecutive points um, based on the score is the person with the highest value collection. That's what I'm assuming it is. That's what I'm going to be using it as. It's just kind of like a fun little thing to do. Obviously, I'm not using it competitive, competitively. I mean, there's not even that many figures, and it's just kind of ridiculous. But it is kind of a little fun thing, and I really like these cards. Um, so yeah, let me put that over there. We're going to first get out our um, our control size comparison just to give you guys a sense of scale. Um, here is the Safari LTD U Tyrannus, a very beautiful figure in its own right. Um, but it is about, I think, 8 inches long. Um, so there you go. You can get a good perspective for size there. And also if you own it, it's good perspective. Um, I also have a couple other Safari figures I want to show next to it because in particular... Um, uh, these uh, ones are, are fitting. So here's uh, the only other Safari Probosidian, uh, or the only Probos other Probosidian I own. Uh, my brother owns the Carnegie Collection uh, ma uh, Mammoth, but I don't really feel like asking him to dig that one out. So uh, here's the Ambelodon from Safari, uh, which is a really underrated figure in its own right. I would recommend picking this one up if you're interested in Ambelodon. Um, but you can just see it absolutely pales in comparison um, to this beautiful Paleoloxodon. Um, it, the pose is just no contest. The detail and the paintwork is absolutely no contest. Um, so this, that is a beautiful Paleoloxodon here. And then finally we'll just do a Deodon. 
uh, so you can get that comparison in there uh, just for how big it is compared to the Daydon if you have this dude. Um, and then uh, we'll get our other Eofana figures out real quick. The other ones I own, I'm going to have to hold this guy up because he doesn't really stand, um, but I actually can just place him up against it. Uh, there's the Giganotosaurus next to the Paleoluxodon. We'll do a side angle here. Um, there you go. And a dead on front angle. So there you go. That's those two next to each other. And then I'll finally give you guys the Atlasaurus next to it. In case you already have the Atlasaurus and don't have this Paleoloxodon yet. Here you go. I'm going to need to put the Atlasaurus behind it. Yeah, I'm not even going to pan up. You, you, get the, you get the gist. Look at just how incredibly massive that Atlasaurus is. But this thing, if you know how big the Atlasaurus is, you probably will be impressed with how big this one actually stacks up next to it. So yeah. Um... I'm going to be reviewing that Atlasaurus next, so keep an eye out for that. But this is an absolutely stunning piece. Could not recommend it anymore. It's easily getting a flawless 10 out of 10, um, because this is an amazing figure. And out of all the normal figurines, like not including statues or action figures, the second best figure in my collection. Not saying it's my second favorite, but second best figure in my collection. Utterly stunning, utterly beautiful, cannot recommend it enough. You are doing yourself a severe disservice on multiple fronts if you do not own this. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.